Hola guys, happy Saturday. I am heading home because I need to, because I don't need to be spending too much money right now because my old job and my new jobs uh, pay periods are staggered by a week. Um, and I don't want to end up with a gap in money flow, if y'all know what I mean. Like, I don't want to overlap all my thrifty goodness, all my mad money, all my fun money. Sorry about the steering wheel. Anywho, I don't want my, my, my money to overlap or cross and um, your girl is left without any thrifty fundage. So, I just left, hello, hello, sorry. I just left Thrifty Station. You guys, I was surprised by little dude's dad this morning. He actually picked him up pretty early. Um, so I just kind of jumped out of bed. I threw on my same freaking clothes I had on yesterday. And um, thankfully, little dude was already up. Um, so got his teeth brushed, got him dressed, got him ready to go. And uh, I had a notification from Thrifty Station that they were having a 50% off everything sale today. But they closed at 1 on Saturday. And I was like, ooh, little dude's dad's going to come pick him up early. Little dude's in a good mood. I don't have to drag him out of bed. He's already up. He's ready to go, so maybe I'll make 50% off at Thrifty Station. You guys, I got there at 12.15. It is now 1.14. They didn't shut the doors down on a whole bunch of us, but we were in line. So I made the 50% off sale, and you guys, I hit pay dirt on just fun little things. Um, I walked out of there spending $15, I think, but would have been $30 because everything was 50% off. Um... I'm feeling very good, very light. I even started up conversations with strangers, which is very unlike me, but I am feeling very good and very light and very positive and very, very happy. Um, so I'm trying to spread the sunshine. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm starving. I need to get home, make something to eat. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna hang out at home. I have a thrift haul for you guys of stuff that I've been picking up since my last thrift haul. I have not forgotten that I need to fill you guys in on everything that's been happening with the new job and everything. Yesterday was my last day at work, so there was some sweet moments, some nice moments, and some stuff that I'm I would like that I'm gonna add on. So I'm kind of glad that I hadn't told y'all all the cheese man, all the dirt uh, before, because I was kind of in a bitter Betty petty patty uh, mindset. But now that everything's come full circle. Um, I feel better about everything, and uh, I think it's going to make for a better story time, better chit-chat time with you guys. Hi, this wheel. But, um, yeah, I'm going to head home, and I'm going to do a thrift haul first, just because I want to get that out of the way. Y'all know my funky phone. Y'all know I have to clean out memory and everything, and we're going to chat. I promise you guys, I'm going to get back on after I upload my thrift haul today, because I'm staying in. I'm going to be good. I need to get ready for uh, uh, my first um, week at the new job so uh, I'm just gonna relax and um, I'm gonna do my thrift haul and then come back to you guys with all the chisme the gossip the what's up the tea the story the novella okay so I'll see you guys in a little bit these are so awesome they're seafoam green it's not showing seafoam but it's um, a cover and each chair is only $7.97 I think so pretty and comfy. I sat in them. This one's undressed, and the chair under is in pretty good condition. You guys, if I had a pickup truck, I swear these would come home with me, but I can't get them home. Y'all know I'm lamp obsessed, and I think this is really pretty. I don't know how much these go for regularly, but YouTubers and photographers, these are $19.99 each. There's no bulbs in there to check if they work, and I don't feel like going out to the trunk and get my thrifty bag, but I don't know, $19.99, what do y'all think? And look at this fan, metal pedestal, and it works. I just love it. Look, you guys, this is just randomly on a shelf. This is on my thrifty bucket list, but with the cups. This one looks a little beat up. But 
I got excited for a second. Here's another one of these anchor hawkings with a little lid, but this one is a dollar more expensive than the most expensive one I bought last time. I think the last one was $4.95. This is $5.95 and eh, I won't cry if I leave it behind. Look at the little kitty platter. So pretty. Look at the pretty birdie platter. Look at that. It's lovely. $2.92. That is so pretty. Let's sneak a peek a -loo. I'm tempted by this because I have so many nativity sets, but I never have the actual setting. But little dude and I had decided that for Christmas next year, we're going to make our own. We're going to attempt a DIY with little branches and stuff. This way we can make it to scale for my favorite nativity. But let's keep looking. Oh, he's cute. Look at this pretty little spray of flowers. Those are pretty. And then little Easter bunnies. Look at the little duckling in the basket. So cute. Look at this pretty little picture. It's so nice. Hmm. Look at that. I like this stuff. $2.92. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sound like an owl over here. Very nice. I think this is so pretty. But it's $6.96 and there is a raggedy patch on here. Somebody tried to fix it. And it looks terrible. So I'm going to leave it. I really liked this Mary and Joseph statue until I looked closer and realized you couldn't see Mary's body, so I thought that was a little weird. But the little camel detail was awesome. Metal scrolly goodness and crosses. Two things I love, but many things I didn't have room for, so they stayed. I thought this was really neat for Christmas nativity, but I've already put all my Christmas stuff away and I didn't want this to be broken. These are the things that I had in my basket and ended up leaving. This day I actually left empty handed. The only thing I regret here not getting is that beautiful little green pitcher. <sighs> okay, I am home and I've been home for a little bit. I came in, I made something to eat and then I had to wash my dishes because I cannot stand a sink full of dirty dishes. I don't put my dishes away once they're washed, but <sighs> I don't like dirty dishes in the sink, and I don't use my dishwasher. I store things in my dishwasher, like dishes and stuff like that, but I don't, I don't use the dishwasher. I prefer to hand wash. But anywho, as I was doing that, uh, I'm washing one of my big spoons, cooking spoons, and I was getting a little too uh, careless with it, and I pushed down too hard, I guess, and the spoon splashed hot, don't know how far along in the cleaning process I was. Water on me. Is it dirty hot water? Is it just clean hot water? I don't know, but it grossed me out. So I had to go change. It was a whole thing. Uh, so I got in a bad mood. And in that bad mood, I was like, <laughs> everything is against me today. Even though that was the only bad thing that has happened today. I just got in a little bratty mood and was going to stomp upstairs and lie down and play my little game on my phone. But I'm like, uh-uh, you got to visit with your peoples because I miss my peoples. So I put my big girl panties on and I came down here and set it all up. And it's not a lot of stuff, but let's do our little thrift haul so then I can go get comfy and give y'all the update of the life of Mel. Okay, so, um, you guys saw that I went to a Goodwill. I didn't film anything at Thrift Town. Phone issues, y'all know. Um, 
I can always get Goodwill, but by the time I make it to my second or third stop, forget it. There ain't no juice left in nothing. But um, I did go to Goodwill and I picked up two things there. I went twice and one day I walked out empty handed, which was weird because that's not like me. Um, it's just, it was the same old stuff. There wasn't much to pick from. Uh, so I left empty handed, even though I tried, I tried to find something, uh, but I just couldn't do it. So I left and then I ended up at Thrift Town and I did find a few little things at Thrift Town. And then today was Thrifty Station. I also uh, have made a trip to Dollar Tree and not that I have anything to show you guys from Dollar Tree because I didn't buy anything uber interesting at Dollar Tree, but our Dollar Tree has officially become a Dollar Tree Plus. So now they're selling everything for $1.25, everything for $1.25. No, I'm lying. I found some canned goods for 99 cents, for a dollar. But everything is $1.25 now and up. I found stuff in there that looked like, um, it looks like a wannabe five and below, like um, item wise. And I was not ready for that. Okay, because the day I went into the Dollar Tree, I haven't been in since, but that particular day I was in a funk. This is before everything was turning good. And I felt like I was in the twilight zone, guys. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's rolled out onto all the Dollar Trees, this whole Dollar Twenty Five nonsense, but I don't like it. I don't. I am mad at Dollar Tree. Okay, um, 99 cent only. I was used to 99 cent and up. Uh, mom and pop dollar stores I'm used to a dollar and up but my dollar tree was my dollar tree okay so until y'all change the sign outside and it says dollar 25 and up tree I don't want to hear it I don't even know if I want to give you my little dollar 25 business but anywho um just because I have it in my phone I'm going to include the madness right here I had noticed that my Dollar Tree had stripped away every other brand of makeup except their LA Colors, which was kind of a bummer. Then I realized it must be because it's cheaper to sell LA Colors for $1.25. I noticed a bigger selection of toys, and I was totally feeling like I was in Twilight Zone because I was not prepared, y'all. Then I had to do a double take because I saw $5 and I thought I had went into Family Dollar or Dollar General. What the heck? I will say, though, their decorator section is really, really pretty. They have some really nice knickknackery for 5 bucks. Okay, so you guys tell me if your Dollar Trees have rolled out the Dollar twenty-five. I don't like it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but I don't. But on to the haulage of it all. Okay. So the time that I did find things at uh, uh, Dollar Tree's on my brain at Goodwill, I found two really good things. I found this humongous furry little throw. And I was a little leery about buying it because I didn't think it was going to wash well in my washer. And I was right. It was $6.96. So y'all know I had to have loved it. And uh, it doesn't have the tag on it anymore because I've washed it twice already. Um, the reason I liked it was because it's super heavy. And it reminded me of those weighted blankets. And little dude, since he was little, sleeps much better if I cover him in blankets and put pillows on top of him. It's a sensory autism thing. Although a lot of people like to sleep with heavy blankets on them and stuff, but my autistic child in particular really prefers it. But the weighted blankets are super heavy. This is just a little lighter than the lightest weighted blanket I've attempted. And the weighted blankets are stupid expensive. So this was heavy. As a matter of fact, it turned out to be too heavy. <laughs> Because he ended up kicking it off onto the floor. So we're back to two comforters and pillows on top. But I've since uh, started using it on the sofa to cuddle up when I'm watching movies. But it was $6.96 and it's this fluffy goodness. And I bought it home and I washed it in my washer. And when I took it out, it felt a little too dry. Like I knew it had washed. It smelled great. And the spin cycle I know takes a lot of the water out. But I wasn't sure how I felt about it because it is so thick and puffy and it's coming from a thrift store. So I dried it and then I took it to the laundromat and used one of their big commercial washers to be sure that it got all up in there. And now I feel confident that it's clean and it still smells wonderful because I use Gain. Y'all know the Gain stink lasts. But I got that and then the only other thing that I found was Mommy Dearest. I've never read the book. I've watched the movie three times, once when I was a preteen 
and it was horrible then as an adult and it haunted me and then a third time as an adult and I'll never watch it again but I've never read the book and I went ahead and read the book and I liked I hate to say that I liked the book because of what the poor girl went through but the book was really good I've heard her on many interviews and stuff say that the book went way left from that the movie went way left from the book but considering I've read the book and I've seen the movie I I didn't live her story. It's not my life. But I didn't see that much disparagement, that much of a disparagey, are those even words, from the movie to the book. But in here, like I said, it's not my life. I ain't trying to sit here and say, girl, that's not what happened to you because it didn't happen to me. But blah, blah, blah. Mommy dearest, I really liked it. More so like the pictures that I've seen on online forever and ever and ever. But when you're reading the book that the, the daughter actually lived it's just different so that's all i picked up at the goodwill and then i went to thrift town and i found these adorable babies it's a mama and a baby whale and this was a dollar 49 and i buy these to nestle in my flower pots in dirt in my flower pots i think it's a little surprise when i'm watering or you know when you walk up on your little plants peekaboo there's like a little peekaboo goodness in there so I got those little whales and I got this little skunk for the same thing to nestle in a plant and he was 99 cents oh sorry the weather's doing something funny it's beautiful right now it's 66 degrees and bright and windy and sunny and gorgeous but we were just freezing the other day so there's something funny in the air and I'm feeling it but anywho so if y'all hear me sorry I know it's rude sorry I don't need any more of these, but I can't pass them up, especially when they're not chipped and they're not stained and they're in lovely condition. Um, this reads, it's good to keep your friends within hugging distance. Winnie the Pooh. Isn't that pretty? And it was $2.99. Then the only other things I picked up that day, which was my redemption day, that was the day that I went to Goodwill and I didn't find anything and I was shocked and chagrined and I was like clutching my pearls because I'm like, that doesn't happen. But Thrift Town made up for it. I found three of these. I would have loved to have found four because I'm assuming there might have been four. It's these metal birdie plaques. I already know they're going outside. They're going on a fence post. I think they're going to be really pretty there. They're $1.99. If y'all hear... That's Dean. If y'all been following me a while or we're buddies on Facebook, y'all know I pseudo adopted a little stray, a big fat stray. He is racking my nerves, you guys. I feed him, I give him lovin's, and he, if he sees me, will sit at the table right outside my door and meow and meow and yowl and meow and meow. He's also clued in where my bedroom is, so he'll jump from the tree to the roof, to the roof right under my bedroom window and meow and meow and yowl. He wants to come in, but I don't know you like that, okay? You're not fixed, you're still intact, so you're gonna be spraying stuff all over the house. I don't know if you have diseases, I don't know what's going on with you. So, uh, no, he's not coming in, but if you hear him, he's right there. But that was one of the three, and here are the other two. Pretty little turquoise, pretty little red, all $1.99, and I loved them. I did look for a fourth, but I couldn't find one. But that's okay, because I think three will be pretty on the post that I'm gonna put them on. And I think I'm gonna go out there and do that today, because I'm really trying to keep my butt in the house. I get antsy uh, when I'm in the house, especially when it's daylight. Once it gets dark, your girl can't see in the dark, and I'm scared of the dark, so I don't, I'm not in any rush to be anywhere in the dark. But right now, there's a few hours of light, and I'm really tempted to just get in the car and go somewhere, but I don't have any need to be anywhere. You'll know what I mean? Grocery store tomorrow, but I don't really need to be anywhere. I thought about going to my sister's house and hanging out there for a little while, but I don't know. I just want to be at home, you know? This weekend, I want to be at home. Okay, Goodwill. No, that was Thrift Town. Okay, so I showed you my first Goodwill, Thrift Town. This was Goodwill this week because I took advantage of going to the thrift stores because my current job or my old job, I passed all my thrift stores. My new job, I'm not gonna pass any of them. So I was gonna get my thrifting in. My last trip to Goodwill, found this pretty pink cup that says, hello gorgeous. It was $1.91, nice and deep, cereal, oatmeal, coffee, whatever. I just thought it was pretty. I found these glass 
I don't know if it's glass. No, it's not glass blown. It's stretched though. Stretched glass, purple, pretty candle holders. And I put them back two or three times because I'm like, you don't have any use for them. You don't have any room for them. Do you have anything you want to replace for them? And I don't, but they're purple. When am I ever going to find twisty purple glass again? So I brought them home and they were $2.92 each. Now these guys were the first thing that I put into my basket that I absolutely knew I was going to have to bring home. These gorgeous Murano style glass, what I'm assuming are candle votives. I guess you could nestle a little plant or something in there. I don't know. I'm going to drop a candle in there. I thought they were really pretty. They were $4.94 each. Some store was selling them for $7.99. And they have little stickers on them that say made in Italy. And then on the bottom, it says handmade in Italy, Murano. Now, I don't know if that's original Murano. I know Murano is the style of glass, but they're tagged Murano. Gorgeous. I got both of them. I couldn't leave them behind. And y'all know I had to love them if I was at my $4.94, $5 limit on a purchase but they were gorgeous and I know exactly where those are going for sure for sure so today at thrifty station like I said I made it in there with maybe 45 minutes to spare and uh come to find out as I was leaving that they've extended the 50% off to Monday well Monday I might go back because Monday I have it's, it's technically my first day of work at my new job but it's orientation and we're supposed to be doing orientation online they say you're done within three to four hours and then they pay you for the rest of the day so if i get up at eight o'clock and do my orientation i'm gonna have all afternoon off i might go back because they were still actively putting out items but i thought these were so neat at first i thought it was a turtle but it's obviously some kind of bird with the feathers but they're these wood carved birdie looking things I just thought they were so nice. Oh, I just peeled the sticker off and they were 50% off of five bucks. So $2.50 for these awesome little birdie things. And I already know exactly where they're going to go. They're going to go on my little picture shelf right as you walk in. I found this pretty little crystal peacock. And I had just seen a peacock. It wasn't a crystal peacock, but it was a bejeweled peacock at a jewelry store the other day. And I thought it was gorgeous. And then I saw a stuffed peacock in the stuffed animals at Walmart for Valentine's Day. Beautiful, crazy looking peacock. And I wanted it. I'm a whole grown woman. And I wanted the stuffed peacock. And then I saw this little crystal peacock, which I think is just adorable. It is made in Italy, 24% lead crystal. And it was half off of three bucks. I you guys, what do you want to do to me? I'm telling you, first, his little pico right here, his little tuft, got me. First the spoon, now the swan. Spoon starts with S, swan starts with S. I better be leery of things to start with S for a little while. Okay. I found love in the time of cholera, 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 isn't that a disease? It's Javier Bardem, Giovanni Mezzogiorno, and Benjamin Bratt. I don't know who Giovanna is, but I love Javier Bardem and Benjamin Bratt, and I've heard of this movie, never seen it, and I'm currently obsessed with this guy as far as his acting because I saw him, what movie did I just see him on? It was something I streamed. I just saw him on a movie and I really, really liked him. I'm like, oh, the I Love Lucy, being the Ricardos. He plays Ricky Ricardo and he is so good. And I know I've seen him in other movies in the past, just nothing current. And I really like his spice. He gives off this uh, kind of vibe to him. I really like this guy. And I thought, hey, coinky dink, not really. And I love both Benjamin and this guy. So I bought that and this was 50 cents because their movies are a dollar. I found this pretty little frosted glass piece and I love frosted glass, but it's hard to find frosted glass at thrift stores. It's not all jacked up or stained. And I don't know how to take stains out of frosted glass. If you guys have any hints, let me know. But uh, I'm always scared to try and get in real scrubby on a stain because I'm gonna take the frost off or I'm gonna jack it up. But this was in such pretty condition. I didn't know what it was. I was thinking trinket box immediately. I think trinket box for um earrings or whatever but i flipped it over to see how much it was it was three dollars so it was a dollar fifty and it reads avon perfumed skin softener 
Birds of Paradise. So apparently, this had body cream in it. There's a little nick here and a little nick there. But I thought that was really neat. How granny bougie is that? I have lotions that I can drop in here and maybe keep this on my bedside for when I get all ashy. You know what I mean? So, and I keep lotion on my bedside anyway because I forget to lotion when I get out of the shower. And then I get all poofy. Not poofy. Like powdery. Yes, Mexicans can get ashy. Um, so I'm thinking that would be pretty on my nightstand with a little bit of cheap lotion first because if it's gonna, the scent is gonna like go all out because there's like no seal or anything. I'll start off with some cheap lotion and if it works, I'll put a little fancier lotion in there. But I thought that was so pretty. And then more frosted glass, you guys. I found four of these. And I have something similar in clear gas, glass. They're tall and I use them for milkshakes when I get milkshake bougie. Um, but these, I was like, these are so cute. They're too small for ice cream, maybe one scoop of ice cream. I got no business eating ice cream anyway, guys. I'm lactose intolerant, big time. But these were so stinking pretty. They were originally 50 cents, so these were only 25 cents. And I thought, how pretty would these be with a real pretty fruit salad or just as a fruit cup? Can you imagine the pretty bright yellows and oranges and reds of fruit in this little frosty goodness? And none of them are scratched, none of them are funky, none of them are chipped. The only thing I'm hoping is that I can take the friggin' price tag off of them without damaging it. Usually I don't have any problem with taking prices off, but I don't know about frosted glass and marker. But we're going to give it a shot. So... That's everything. That is everything that I've picked up since you and I and you and all of us have spoken. So now I'm going to wash everything, put everything away. Oh, no, it's not. Hold up. Oh, my favorite is, you guys, I found 12 pair of earrings. Okay. So I got them for $6. Each pair is $2. So half off. I got 12 pairs of earrings for $6. And they're vintage 80s. Okay, maybe even a little older. They're all clipped. No, one, two, a few are pierced. Look at this. If y'all have been with me a while, y'all know I love enamel jewelry and y'all know I love a vintage earring. Got those. How the heck did I almost forget these? Now clip, I already know I'm gonna lose one or two. I already know. So I'm glad that they're only a dollar. It, it's gonna make me sad if I lose them because I love this kind of stuff. There's more enamel goodness. These are just little black ring, ah, little black ring enamels. Small. I think I have something similar to this, but in a different color. Are these pierce? These are pierce. They reminded me of bananas or vanilla or I don't know. Just, I love them. These big old honking clips, and they're probably going to make me look like a pixie, like a wannabe. I want to be a um, little fairy, but enamel gray goodness. Okay, those are a little big. These pierce, these, rem they, ugh, these remind me straight of junior high. Just metallic. There's kind of a polka dotty goodness going on there. You see kind of like a little splotchy blue. Those are pierce. These are, oh, so I did get some pierce and some clip are these blue these are blue all of these i need to sanitize in peroxide wash in hot hot water and then just clean them off in peroxide these dainty little clips a gold leaf with a little pearl how can i vulgus so pretty i loved these these are clip look at the pretty colors in there those pretty now these, a lady that I spontaneously started a conversation with, because your girl's happy, said these are pressed glass. It's glass on glass. I was I hadn't even seen them, but I'm like, this is kind of cute. I kind of like that. These are pierced, so I got those. These pretty mother of pearl on these silver posts. Those are pierced. And then these I had to have, not because they're my style, not because they're particularly, wow, I'm hoping they clean up really, really well with a little scrub of baking soda and water and Dawn just to give them a sparkle. It's these little fakey diamond ones, but the reason I liked them, 
because of the screw post. Look at, I love these types of earrings. They remind me of my grandma. All the earrings my grandma had in her little jewelry box from as long as I can remember were these little screw posts. So that is everything. That is everything I picked up. I can't wait. This is what I'm going to busy myself with, self with right now, sanitizing the earrings and buffing them and giving them a good shine. Uh, I'm just going to clean up my little finds. So I will be back today, you guys, um, with the cheese man, with the talk, with the tea. Um, so until then, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. I hope your Saturday has started off really, really well and turns into an awesome Sunday. But I will see you guys very, very soon. So until then, I love your punches. Bye. Y'all know it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. Thrifty station, half off sale. Oi, 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 how do I not blind y'all? Look at all my, look at all my goodness. Behind the scenes, y'all. Anywho, it's this scrolly little mirror, and it was two fifty. Knew I was gonna forget it, and I put it right here so I wouldn't forget it, and I forgot it anyway. But yes, this is lovely, and it already has a home. I already know where I'm gonna put it. I'm actually gonna hang it right by the door, right here in the front. That way, as you're walking out, you can see if you're looking your cutest. Okay, but now I'm done.